Let's come before God in prayer. Let us pray. Praise the one that through whom all things seen and unseen has been made. Praise the one who cast stars into space. Praise the one who came and lived among us, Christ Jesus our King, who longs to make us whole, who is the bread of God for us, for all of humanity, for all of creation. Praise the one who asks nothing from us other than we believe in him. Belief in him and to follow Follow him all the days of our lives. Praise the one who possesses the seal of God the Father, bringing the assurance that all who believe will never hunger, will never be thirsty. Praise the one who is our King, our Lord, our Saviour, our bread of heaven, in the home, in the field, in the forest, with song, with adoration, with true devotion. Praise the one whose love is unfailing, great in compassion, who longs to wash away our iniquity and cleanse us from all sin. In humbleness and humility we bow, confessing in the presence of our siblings in Christ that we have sinned against God's law and words, deeds and actions on our own and in common with others. We are truly and sincerely sorry. May we know that God cleanses us with hyssop, that we are washed clean by the love of the one we believe in, Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we gather and worship and pray and continue to pray together saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Our reading today is from John chapter 6. Reading verses 24 to 35. Let us hear the word of the Lord. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and came to Capernaum, looking for Jesus. When they found him beside the sea, they said, Rabbi, when did you come here? This was Jesus' reply. I am telling you the solemn truth, he said. You aren't looking for me because you saw the signs, but because you ate as much bread as you could. You shouldn't be working for perishable food, but for food that will last to the life of God's coming age. Food which the Son of Man will give you. The person God the Father has stamped with his seal of approval. What should we be doing? They asked him. So that we can be doing the work God wants. This is the work God wants of you, he replied. That you believe in the one he sent. Well then, they said to him. What sign are you going to do so that we can see and believe you? What work are you doing? Our ancestors ate manna in the wilderness. It says in the Bible that he gave them bread from heaven to eat. I'm telling you the solemn truth, replied Jesus. 
It wasn't Moses who gave you the bread from heaven. It was my Father who gave you the true bread from heaven. God's bread, you see, is the one who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Master, they said, give us this bread. Give it to us always. I am the bread of life, replied Jesus. Anyone who comes to me will never be hungry. Anyone who believes in me will never be thirsty. Amen. And may God bless to us this reading of God's holy word.